Let's talk this. This is your girl, Ashley K, aka ABK Angel. Ezekiel 37 5, New Living Translation. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Look, I'm going to put breath into you and make you live again. Hi, this is your girl, ABK Angel, and I received a lot of compliments on the shirt that I wore yesterday. If you go to True To You Creations on Instagram.com and use promo code ABK Angel, you receive 10% off of your purchase. Thank you, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and let's get back to the video. The teacher in me wants to make sure that everybody understands what the origin story is. It's basically a backstory. If I have any comic book fans out there, your favorite villains and heroes have backstories. And one of my favorite origin stories comes from the Iroquois, and the name of it is Earth on the Turtle's Back. And we used to have so much fun in class because um, you have so many different stories. Um, so cultures have so many different stories as to how the earth was created. Christians believe in Adam and Eve. Um, the Iroquois believe in the earth on the turtle's back. And then also scientists believe in the Big Bang Theory. And we just used to have a lot of fun. But this is my origin story as to how I got MS. Picture it. America. We had just celebrated the turn of the century and we were all excited because we survived Y2K. And all the teenage girls were extra excited because there was a boy band called B2K. And I just love my man, Jay Book. Hey, Jay. <laughs> But there was something wrong with me. My left arm was numb, and my mom kept on saying, oh, you just slept on the wrong side of the bed, but the numbness was spreading. I tried to ignore the numbness, but it was starting to affect my schoolwork because it was affecting my hands, it was affecting my face, and I was also like a part of a step team, and it was affecting how I could step, it was affecting how I could do work, and I even eventually had to quit playing the piano because it was just becoming too much. So I went to the doctor, and he told me that this could either be severe nerve damage or multiple sclerosis and I kind of wanted it to be severe nerve damage because I thought that could be fixed but and I knew someone with multiple sclerosis and I just was hoping it wasn't MS but we didn't know I went through so much testing um, and I had to miss a lot of days of school because I remember I had to get a spinal tap MRI and just have so much um, testing done in order to confirm a diagnosis. But then it happened. I still remember the day, cause my neurologist walked in and he said, you have multiple sclerosis. I was about to cry, but then out of nowhere, my mom started crying. And in that moment, I knew that I had to be strong for her. And my dad, he's very stoic, so he was silent, but I knew that it affected him too. After that, people started looking at me with what I like to call MS eyes. Like, they pitied me, and it's like, at one point, they thought I could do all these things because I did a lot of acting, and I was an honest student, and I was very active in the church and at school. But then all of a sudden, they was just like, oh, Ashley, like they had lost belief in me. Around this time, there's a gospel star called Joe Pace, and he was with the Colorado Mass Choir, and he had a very popular song called Speak Life. And I still remember being in the car with my mom after she had choir rehearsal, and I was like, Mama, why aren't people speaking life to me? Like, they're just feeling sorry for me, but they're not speaking life. They need to speak life to me. And you all know Joe Pete Pace. Tell him I said thank you so much. And I love him. And he inspired me. And he made me the person I am today. And if he ever needs a background singer, I can be all the way in the back. You don't even have to show my face. But if he ever needs a background singer, and if he ever sings Speak Life Again, please call me. Please. Love you, Joe Pace. Love you. Thank you. And like everything was sunshine and rainbows right after I heard um, Speak Life. However, it did change my mind uh, set, okay and then also it gave me hope for the future 
And even if you're in what could be a hopeless situation, if you just have a little spark of hope, it can mean the world to you. Because it really took about five years for me to find a medication that worked with me. But once I discovered faith, and once I began to believe in myself and my abilities, and mama was speaking life into me too. She, oh, I told you all before, she's Philippians 4.13. You can do all things through Christ when strengthens you. And she just kept on speaking that to me, even into my lowest moments. And so, yeah. That's my MS origin story. That's how I became a person. Love you all. Bye. See you tomorrow.